Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I am so excited to be creating again and today I am going to play around with the Distress Spray Stains. They are just so amazing and so magical. I just absolutely love them. Today I'm going to be creating a tag, but you could definitely use these techniques for any other project that you might want to make. I'm using a Dina Wakely mixed media tag and I am using the colors Rusty Hinge, Pumice Stone, Weathered Wood, and Ground Espresso, and a little bit of Ice Spruce Distress Oxide Spray. And as you could see, I had a ton of uh, color on the first tag. So I just took another tag and smushed it right into that first tag. That way I'm not wasting any of the spray and color. I wanted to create lots of layers on the background of this tag, so I added even more color. You can even do a third layer of color if you wanted, but at this point I was just using a old book paper page to pick up some of that color because again, you do not want to waste any and I will save that for a future project. I dried the color that was on the tag and now I am splattering on some Ground Espresso Distress Spray Stain and then I use a little bit of water to get that amazing flickering effect and it just kind of blends out into the rest of the tag and it just looks amazing. After I dried that layer, I am taking some Iced Spruce Distress Oxide Spray and splattering it onto the background. And then again, I dried that. It's all about layers, so we definitely want to dry in between layers so that we get a lot of uh, layering effect and nothing bleeds too much into each other. I used a Tim Holtz stamp and stamped it onto the background of this tag. And now I'm taking a brayer and lightly brayering on some gesso. I know some of you are seriously just thinking, what is she doing? She's ruining the tag, all of that amazing work that she did before, but it all adds to the end result. Again, I'm just playing around and enjoying the process. That's what I am trying to focus on and in the future just kind of realizing that the process of creating is more important than the outcome. So again, I am just adding layers and just playing around and just enjoying enjoying it. And I think that's most important. All right, so after I added all of that gesso, I am now taking a stencil and a baby wipe and kind of doing a ghosting effect where I am taking up some of that ink. I let the ink dry a little bit too much, so I didn't get too much ghosting effect, but it's still there. It's hard to see on camera. I tried to show you guys a little bit up close, but again, it's a little bit hard to see, um, but it does add to the end result. I'm now going to take a blending tool from scrapbook.com and a couple Tim Holtz stencils and add some permanent black ink to the tag. Again, this is just adding layers upon layers upon layers. Uh, again, it just adds to the end result. So the numbers I added a little bit darker, uh, this lattice work stencil, I'm adding a little bit lighter. As you could see, uh, I don't press as hard and I didn't re-ink the tool, so you just get a faint uh, effect in the background. To add even more interest and layers and texture to the tag, I am using some rusty hinge and just splattering it on. I felt the some of the gesso was just a little bit too white, so I'm adding a little bit of weathered wood and rusty hinge to that. I sprayed some water on it so that it would help the color move where it wants to and just create more of an organic look. All right, I am taking some ephemera from some of the Tim Holtz packs. I don't know exactly the names, so I'll have them linked down below for you. I absolutely love this picture of this old dude and his stash is just amazing and his hat is just, again, amazing. I just could not help but use it. I thought it was perfect for this tag, uh, but of course I wanted to make it uh, look like it flowed really nicely with the rest of the tag. So I added a little bit of stamping and a little bit of gesso to the edges, and now I'm adding a little bit of stenciling with one of my favorite stencils from Tim Holtz. And I'm using this little dauber, finger dauber tool. It's absolutely amazing. 
I'm going to add a few finishing touches such as some splatters, some more stamping, and then I added some wire that I colored with alcohol ink uh, just to give the tag a little bit more interest and texture. Uh, I think the finishing touches are so important to a project. It can really make everything flow really nicely together. Uh, and as you could see here, I added a little chipboard phrase from Tim Holtz and I colored it with some inks, um, the same products I've been using throughout the video. Uh, and here are some little metal hardware from Finibear. I think they add just the perfect touch to this project. Here is a close-up look of the tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I absolutely loved creating this tag and I have put together a short playlist with even more mixed media techniques that you definitely need to try. Uh, be sure to check out the playlist right here for all of the tips and techniques that I have to share with you.